Hello ladies and gentlemen, I believe we are all doing well and the month of love is treating us all fairly. My name is Prince, many of my friends call me Prinko. I'm a medical doctor, I'm a proud alumnus of the University of Cape Coast School of Medical Sciences, Cape Coast, Ghana. I will be sharing with you sessions on a very significant diagnostic tool uh, that unfortunately not many practitioners find very friendly. Uh, to the medical student, it, it may come across as a nemesis and some have even compared a study to the study of music, which obviously is a hyperbole. This diagnostic tool I'm talking about is electrocardiography, commonly shortened as ECG. Um, I must say here that the idea of this endeavor is, is not to discuss ECG in its entirety because I'm honestly not qualified to attempt, attempt that. The idea, however, is to present the fundamentals of the subject um, in such a way that it will become more friendly, you know, to resort to as that important diagnostic tool that it is. So how are we going to do this? Um, we'll begin with solo introductory sessions um, during which um, I will seek to discuss the basics of the subject. And subsequently, we will have some senior colleagues um, to um, support the course and during I mean, our interactive sessions and of course during these interactive sessions we also get to hear from you interact with you our our cherished audience and this is long overdue uh, and i'm so glad that finally i get to share these sessions with us all so kindly tag along tell a friend uh, to tell a friend to tell a colleague you know uh, medical students kindly kindly let's all join this course um, and revise and study new things together on the subjects of ECG I can't wait to come your way again with the next episode our, I mean our very uh, our first introductory session where uh, you know, we will seek to discuss the, 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 the fact that the, uh, there is a, an, an electrical activity inherent within the heart um, that enables the heart to perform its function. And it is actually this innate electrical activity that may be picked up as recordings of the ECG. Uh, for that matter, if there are any perturbations in um, the flow of this electrical activity of the heart. There will be changes in the expected waves um, on the ECG, the basis on which we diagnose all the, um, the host of um, whether clinical, I mean, um, cardiac and non-cardiac conditions. Thank you again for your audience. See you soon. Bye.